with a massive warming trend here in south central Colorado, we're rapidly approaching heavy stonefly molt activity, specifically in the Canyon City and Bighorn Canyon stretches of the Arkansas River Freestone. This can truly be a kickstart to the fantastic spring fishing on this incredible basin. You must be asking yourself, what is a stonefly molt? And many anglers know a stonefly to be that big honking hopper looking thing flying around in the summertime. Of course, we understand as guides the most crucial stage in the stonefly life cycle to be that of the nymph. Uh, that stonefly crawling on the substrate uh, for up to three years before they hatch. The molt is something that can occur up to three dozen times during a stonefly's life cycle. And it's simply where the stonefly sheds its exoskeleton. If many of you have seen that nymph in the water or crawling on the edge of the river or um, in the bins, you see, you know, at the fly shop, you see those, those stonefly nymphs. Uh, to be really gnarly looking bugs with almost armor uh, on their bodies. That's what we term uh, the exoskeleton. And you'll see uh, throughout the season, you'll see uh, shucks that those uh, stoneflies have left um, and they get washed to the shoreline and end up on the rocks on the shoreline. Really, really cool. And then of course, when they crawl to the edge and hatch in the early summer season, typically in June, July, and then moving into August, uh, you'll see those exo, those true exoskeletons split down the middle on, on those rocks on the edges. And, and at that point, that bug has hatched. Uh, but really important, first and foremost, to understand that in the spring season, this is kind of the first big bug activity uh, on the freestone section of the Arkansas and many other freestone rivers in the state of Colorado and the Rocky Mountain region. Uh, so it's very important. And, you know, uh, if we, we have some nice warm weather like we've got now, shoot, the next 10 days, we're going to see temperatures in the mid 50s uh, in Canyon City reaching 60 60 degrees today and several days in the next, uh, you know, 10 days, two weeks. So um, that really can be a catalyst for these stonefly nymphs to become even more active crawlers on the substrate and begin that stonefly molt activity. What does that do for the trout? Obviously, they go from focusing on midge larva and midge pupa um, and really being relatively dormant feeders uh, through the winter months to a full-on feeding frenzy. They've got these cheeseburgers floating around, um, you know, swimming, crawling, getting kicked up into the water column. And that is uh, a big um, protein source for those fish. Um, and they go from being relatively dormant feeders to, to feeding frenzy. Um, can be some of the best nymph fishing of the spring season uh, and we look forward to it uh, every year because it really truly is that starting gun for the spring season. Let's take a peek at uh, a few uh, patterns that we might focus on just to give you a good idea of what's to come. Um, it, it is so important to get in that trout's head to understand kind of what they're thinking um, if we want to be, become better anglers and advance our skill set, we need to understand this, this bug life cycle as well um, and how um, we can best approach it during certain time periods. Alrighty team, I had mentioned that this molt activity is a life cycle stage in which these stoneflies are shedding that exoskeleton. And uh, that term is called an instar. Uh, and essentially what's happening when that exoskeleton is shed is the stoneflies go from being this darker, um, 
tint, this darker color, to being very light, okay? They're kind of, they're restarting, they're molting. Um, and so it's, it's paramount that we as anglers uh, are well equipped with, you know, multiple colors, multiple sizes. You know, our stonefly population is so vast in the Arkansas River Freestone that we'll have, you know, millions of bugs in that first, you know, first year, second year, third year, all of those age classes. And then we'll have bugs that are molting at different phases. And so it's key to have not only different colors, but different size ranges as well. Um, you'll notice I've got different sizes, different profiles, and then of course that key different shade, different color. Um, up top, we've got our lighter uh, stonefly representations. Um, we've got, uh, you know, some really good kind of biot style um, stonefly representations. I really like that. That's called the tungsten goldie there. Nice and heavy. You'll see that all of these patterns are weighted heavily. We need to live on the substrate as anglers with these patterns. Um, problem child, that's got two tungsten beads. That's Charlie Craven's pattern. We've got an improved uh, stone. That's Penn Carl Pennington's pattern and a biot stone. So those are our light colored representations. And then we've got our dark colored representations. We've got our, our two bit stone, another one of Charlie Craven's patterns and one of my true favorites here. We've got Frank Smethurst's uh, 20 bomb, which is a great just general attractor. You know, we always want to have a, a rubber leg style pattern in our box and ready to roll. I really like that in a darker fly when we get into the stone fly molt representations. Um, we've got a more traditional pattern here, the prints. Um, you may notice a little bit different though, two tungsten beads. Again, we need to get down and we need to get down quickly uh, to live on that substrate and uh, get in front of those fish uh, during this window of time. Uh, another traditional, more traditional pattern, the 20 incher, um, which has been one of our standbys on the Arkansas River for a long time. So again, uh, you know, just a good look at it maybe what we need to be prepared with here over the next couple weeks. And like I said, uh, you know, with this big warming trend, uh, We've, we've got some real opportunities here in February to get out and have some fantastic fishing on the Arkansas Freestone uh, section, specifically starting in Canyon City, moving up through Bighorn Sheep Canyon in those lower elevations where this stonefly molt activity uh, does start. And then we'll see this activity continue to build uh, and move up the river as we see many other bug life cycles do throughout the season. But uh, shelf ice is minimal to non-existent in many areas. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, this warmer weather will offer some great opportunities for those looking to get out, get away from people on those tailwaters and enjoy some really fun fishing. Um, keep it on the substrate. It is a nymphing game, but uh, you will be able to reap some really nice rewards if you understand what you're doing out there. And this stonefly molt activity is, is a key piece of that pie.